Representative Powell. Here. Representative Kennedy. Here. Representative Knight. We can't hear the clerk, Evan. I can hear the responses, but not the clerk. Representative Knight. Here. Representative McGaugh. Here. First Vice Chairman Nassir. Here. Representative Nardell. Present. Representative Newberry. Here. Representative Shawcross Smith. Present. <clears throat> Chairman Shanley. Here. Representative Tansy. Present. Leader Filippi. Here. We have a quorum, Chairman. Thank you. We have one bill on our calendar today, House of Concurrent Resolution Number 7256, as well as 7256 Substitute A. Do we have counsel for the committee to explain the changes that have been made in the Substitute A version and address any questions that members of the committee may have? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Sure, any more? Okay. Uh, the subcommittee before you reflects the compromise reached by the House and Senate to amend the concurrent resolution reducing the extension of the executive powers from no more than 60 days to no more than 45 days. The changes appear on page 2, lines 20 and 21, with the date changed from April 15th to March 31st, 2022. The substitute A also updated the most recent executive order number, which was issued on Thursday, February 3rd. That change was made on page 1, lines 5 and 6, and they replaced executive order 2202 with executive order 2212. So that's more of a the balance of the concurrent resolution remains the same. An identical survey was posted in the Senate as well. Thank you. Do members of the committee have any questions? Is there any discussion of the substitute A or of 7256? Is there a motion? Take a motion. I make a motion to eliminate House Resolution 7256 and replace it with House Resolution 7256 sub A. The motion has been made to indefinitely postpone House Resolution 7256 and pass 7256 substitute A by First Vice Chair Messier and seconded by Representative Paul. Madam Clerk, can you have a word for vote, please? Representative Ackerman. Yes. Representative Agello. Yes. Representative Baginski. Yes. Second Vice Chairman Provesi. No. Representative Felix. Yes. Representative Hull. Yes. Representative Kennedy. Yes. Representative Knight. Yes. Representative McGaugh. Yes. First Vice Chairwoman Messier. Yes. Representative Nardelli? No. Representative Newberry? No. Representative Shawcross Smith? Yes. Chair Shanley? No. Representative Tansy? Yes. Leader Filippi? No. Eleven ayes, five nays. The motion passes. Thank you, Madam Clerk. That will conclude our business for this meeting. We do have another meeting at the rise of the House to address the reapportionment legislation that we looked at last night. So for now, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So Executive, thank you. Representative Kennedy, you voted again to subsume the role of the House to the, uh, to the governor. Why do you insist on giving up citizens' rights? Representative, anything? Representatives, you uh, decided it's appropriate to again subsume the rights of a uh, General Assembly and a three parts. I know you don't return phone calls either, but uh, in the rights of a government, why, why, why do you insist on giving up the rights of the people? Why? No explanation necessary for the people of Cumberland? Didn't think so.
Representative Felix, you would presume to be against a government that is dominated and dominates the people, yet here you are voting it and giving it more power. Isn't that uh, inconsistent with your views? Representative, again, giving up the rights of the people. No comment? You don't feel it's appropriate. You don't hold beholden to the people. This is why people hate Rhode Island government. Congratulations to your vote, Representative. So, folks, there you have it. In six minutes and 43 seconds, the government chooses to ignore the balance of powers in government. Progressive Democrats positioning themselves as power for the people. Yet they're obviously not interested in it. Right, but why? We have three branches of government, Representative. Does that make you a progressive if you're willing to subsume the rights of the people and ignore the balance of powers and vote for corporate welfare? Progressive in name only. Thank you. The record stands. And as they say, out with not a bang, but a whimper. We'll post this shortly. Thank you.